Well, good morning, everybody. It's Leanne Graff, and it is Tuesday morning, 11 a.m., and I'm here on my Facebook Live that happens weekly. Um, however, <laughs> next Tuesday is July 4th, and I will not have a live um, next week, so um, don't come on on July 4th and <laughs> hope to see me, but um, I'll post a video anyway later that day, so uh, at least I hope to. All right, let me get my laptop synced up. See if we're... Let me know you're here. Say hi, maybe where you're from. And yeah, there we go. I am live. Good morning, everybody. Hi, thanks for joining me. Appreciate that, spending your day with me. We'll have a free class featuring mostly fun folds today. So um, last night I had a video, my uh, monthly Monday Night Live, which I haven't had the last couple of months because uh, for various reasons. Anyway, we made the this card last night, and these were the two that I shared before the class. So the uh, fourth Monday of each month, I try and hold a class either using a technique, a fun fold, or designer paper. So this one was, um, I'm calling it, the four piece diagonal cut card. I don't know, you know, you, you, you decide. But each one of like, this is one piece of designer paper and we cut it in half and then flipped them. So you see both sides of your designer paper. Really cool way to use your designer paper and even scraps. Cause it is just um, one and seven eighths inch tall and two and a half inch wide for this layout. So we use the kindest expressions stamp set and I'm challenging people to make a, a card using this layout and share it on my stamp and share page by July 23rd to begin on the drawing for a free prize. So yeah that's um, happening and so I thought I'd just share that. I'm trying to get my screen a little straighter. It's not working is it? <laughs> just hang on a minute. Okay that has to be straight. Kind of drives me crazy otherwise. There we go, okay. All right, so anyway, that is the challenge on my stamp and share. There's a big green and blue post that says, let's share. So that's where you need to share your four piece diagonal cut card um, by July 23rd. So, and you can just scroll back on my Facebook page if you're watching it here to um, find that post. Actually, no, I'm sorry. It's on the Stamp and Share page or group, so that's not here. But you can see the, the card layout on this, this page. Okay, so last week, door prizes were um, for sharing. You get a set of foil papers and a ribbon share. I'm sorry, for commenting. And for sharing, you get magenta blends. So I don't know if the winners are on... We have winners of Laura Gregg and Sue Fuhrer. So congratulations, gals. They commented or shared to win the prizes for last week. Um, so yeah, awesome. So I'll send those to them as soon as I get their address. And the prize for this week, I can share one of them. This is for commenting, a set of resin stars. They were in the catalog, I think the spring catalog or summer, I don't remember, uh, last year. So really neat, good time to make for the 4th of July coming up to use stars. So, and the prize for sharing is going to be a pre-cut card kit of all three cards that I'm doing today. So I can't share them yet. Um, I did want to reiterate a couple of the June specials. Of course, you know, Designer Series Paper is sale is on right now. And that is exciting because we all love to use Designer Series Paper. So get them while you can. There are 30, actually, uh, yeah, 30, I have to do the math. 5 and 6, 11. Oh my gosh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. My goodness, my brain is a little slow. So 13 different designer series paper, mostly from the annual catalog, plus the Hello Irresistible online exclusive paper. So don't forget about that. The other big uh, happening this month is the join special. So you get an extra $30 in free product when you join for $99. So we've had a few people join our team this month already. So I'd love to answer any questions you have 
Um, the neat thing about joining is besides getting 30, you get, you pay 99 and you get to pick out $155 in product. Shipping is free. You only pay, pay tax. So, um, so yeah, it's a pretty great deal. Then you get to be in our group. I have many of my team members on here right now that get to be part of our group. So, um, yeah, they get free tutorials every month. They get to be part of our team challenges and optional swaps and prizes it's we have a lot of fun in our group lots of sharing uh, so let me know if you have any questions on that you um, do need three hundred dollars a quarter in purchases but you know they that's at the top that's retail you actually it they count it, your purchases as retail but you're really just paying the discount rate of 80 percent on every dollar so 80 cents on a dollar, but they count it as a full dollar. So, so yeah, it's a great deal. Plus they tax and ship you on the uh, discount. So you can have more savings. So it's a great deal for those who want to um, get a discount on their Stampin' Up! product. So let me know if you have any questions. Inventory update. There are a lot of dyes gone right now. We have um, Hey Chuck dyes, Gone Fishing dyes, Little Dreamer dyes. Carousel Horses dies and Earthen Texture dies. All out of stock. Some will be back next week. Um, others will be into July, further into July. Gold Distress Paper, In Color Dots, and a, quite about four colors of blends markers. And the Natural Wavy Trim is still out of stock. Low Inventory, we have many colors of our new color blends, and including In Colors, the Little Monkey Punch, and the Wink of Stella. Those are all low inventory. There's a few other um, small things that might not um, pertain to you that I didn't want to list and go on forever and ever. <laughs> okay, so the first card we're making, how many of you remember the stack and cut template? So this is a card that we made at my team, I'm sorry, at my um, card club this month. So those of you who are at my card clubs, you will be very familiar with this. And this is the card, and it is a direct case. I'm going to give Brian King full credit because it is almost exactly um, what he did. So I have two different versions. One's a, li a simple little Z fold, and the other one is traditional. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to turn a traditional um, card fold into a quick um, fun fold. Okay, we're using bubble bath. So one of my newest favorites colors. It's just so pretty. So um, before I go on, I'm going to get back to the stack and cut template. So as you can see, if you can see these two squares are here, and then you have a tall skinny or a short tall and a longer skinny piece. So what you do is you take, and I should have had some extra paper here to cut, but I had mine all cut out already. So you take two pieces of paper, at least two, um, three and three quarter by five, and you cut them first at two and a half. And then you take that two and a half inch strip and cut that two and three quarters down from the top. So you have a two and a half by two and three quarter inch square and a two and a half by two and one quarter inch square. So that's these two. Oh, this looks like it's almost what I did, but not quite. So that's those two pieces. Then these are the two skinny pieces. So you get, you can flip and flop and mix and match and change them up. And especially when you use double-sided paper, of course. So then you just adhere it to your piece. Your, I'm gonna use this and that, I like that. So the front piece is one quarter inch wider, which would be four inches by five inches, and I do have the measurements here. There you go. Okay, so what we're gonna do, and this uses both the Circle Sayings Bundle and the uh, Beautiful Balloons Bundle. Okay, we'll get my glue out, and again, just like, ooh, that was a little bit much, like last night, we're just going to leave like an eighth of an inch border on here. Just double check that they meet. And like I said last night, when you're doing cards like this that fit, if it's not perfect, don't stress about it. Just a homemade card. 
So this can easily be changed to a horizontal version of a card rather than a vertical. And it's so easy to change up your double-sided paper and get all kinds of different patterns. So, and you don't even have to, in fact, I used scraps. If I had some strips, I just cut them to this measurement and did not worry about, um, about using full sheets. I could use strips as well when you have the measurements here. Okay, so take your bone pull. This is my traditional five and a half by eight and a half card. And your card stack easily folds with a bone folder. So what I do when I wanna turn a regular card base into a Z fold is match up my, my edges. I did not crease this yet. You can see it's still nice and folded. Start in the middle, work out, start in the middle, work out. And you have an easy Z fold. So you do not have to score that if you don't want to. You do not have to. So then you will just add your glue to the side of this and slide it in place, matching up all the parameters, the edges, and press. Hi gals, welcome, thank you for joining me, I appreciate that. Okay, we are going to, I have a few pieces here, get my colors out. So I have um, Fresh Freesia, Lemon Lime Twist, and bubble bath. Now this template will be posted later on my blog and probably on Facebook as well. So you can you can easily um, get the measurements and the, this template. Like I said, I hope you're following me on my blog. It's where I post everything. Facebook, I kind of do hit and miss. I don't post it all on Facebook. So you're going to want to um, follow me on my blog as well. Um, and then I also have a newsletter. So yeah, there's lots of different ways and there's different things on everything. Okay, so I'm gonna set that ink aside and get into the Fresh Freesia. And I have, in fact, I, I'm gonna make a card later. So I'm gonna stamp this twice. I have a strip of bubble bath here. And I don't know how wide it is, but you just need it wide enough to stamp your circle on. So did you know that we have a circle punch that is larger than anything we've ever had before? So the circle punch is one eighth inch larger than our old two and a quarter circle punch. I don't believe that's current anymore. Um, we have a two inch, which would layer this very nicely as well. So, um, so yeah, now I have two out of that little strip of paper or big strip of paper. Okay. this save one I'm gonna well while I have that out I am going to stamp my greeting for the inside so this is the happy birthday now this this stamp was from the circle sayings right here lots of different uh, fun greetings that work with the circle punch the new circle punch this is a bundle so if you're interested in a circle bundle this is a great one Lots of uses, very nice, versatile stamp set. So I'm gonna pull it down a little bit, give room for the all the rest of the things I'm going to be using. So I'm gonna close up Fresh Freesia, get my Lemon Lime Twist back and my Bubble Bath. So while I'm doing that, I am going to let this glue for a little bit, little dot of glue on that little tassel, and this is from the Beautiful Balloons Bundle. Let that sit aside and dry for a minute while I work on the inside. Let's give you a peek. Okay, start with the biggest stamp. So this is the um, banners, and I'm gonna post, or stamp one there, and one right there, okay? All right, so then we're done with this. Done with Lemon Lime Twist, nice and bright, happy. Now we're going into the soft uh, bubble bath. And we're going to do a few little, these are balloon strings. And just um, when you're stamping something so thin and small, 
you just want to touch. You do not want to press firmly um, when you're doing that. So I'm going to get one up there and maybe one here. <laughs> it's hard to stop when you're stamping backgrounds. And then just a little bit of confetti. And there's the inside of the card. Okay. Okay, so we are done stamping. This is a really fast card. Like, like I said, this is a direct case from Brian King. When I was looking for a card after we returned from our um, Norway trip, it, I had to have a card ready for club, and I had one done already, the next one I'm going to do. And I needed another one, and I kept coming. I wanted to use this paper and this bundle, and I kept coming back to Brian King's card, and I thought, I'm just going to do it. I don't like to case directly from somebody but his this card was just perfect for what I wanted and I'm like I, I, I couldn't change it up any better than what it was so I just had to do it I just had to do it so we're just going to go a little bit on the angle this one's a little brighter because of that stripe that's there um and let me tell you I put, put two pop-ups here so and I want to pop this one up as well but I'm going to put them in three places that are not where the balloon is okay because now I don't have double pop-ups that are going to go through the mail if I send this card out to somebody and the last thing is a little gem that um, from the tinsel gems four pack so this is just perfect right like that okay so yeah, these are awesome gems in four different colors. Love them. All right, that's the first card. So I want three simple fun folds today. Well, the last one may not be as simple as, um, as the next one. But I'm excited about this one because this bundle, the Crafting With You bundle is awesome. I mean, when they came up with this, and this is, let's see, um, Irene Windlands million dollar stamp set. I mean, just amazing set of dies and stamps. And one of my team members, Karen, she made a card with the easel. And the easel does not have this flower image in it. It is plain. It's just an, a plain easel. And they just put that in there just for storage. But she printed out a picture of one of her grandkids and put the picture in the easel on the card and then the other thing she did somebody had sent her a handmade painting and it was a smaller painting but she took a picture of the painting and shrunk it and put the painting in the easel and sent that to the artist so such a neat way to use that easel but anyway this is what I'm, I'm using is the crafting with you lots of different um options in the set and this is another one we made at my card club so we'll switch the measurements out and this is another easy z fold we're using berry burst on this one and here is the berry burst card so that is what it looks like very simple easel card so my gals at club had a choice to make a paper crafting card a sewing card or a hand stitched hand stitch like um, cruel or embroidery card with a little um, embroidery hoop so aren't they cool I mean the options and then there's the artist and there's um, there's all kinds of different options with this stamp set so let's get our card going we're gonna make the paper crafting card because that's what most of us do and like this is great for a quilter I mean, there's so many options I just think it's a fabulous set and the dies are back in stock last week they were out of in they were out and unavailable so so yeah I'm glad they're back okay first thing we're going to do well we can go ahead and put our gingham glorious gingham this is all this um, gingham paper is from the glorious gingham designer paper let me show you so these are the colors that it comes in so you can see that I used these three so it is on sale for eight something up a six by six pack rather than I think it's 
10.50, I can't remember. Little less um, cost than the usual, than most of our designer papers. I think there's a few less sheets in it, but it's awesome. Okay, so we're going to first put our pieces together here. The scissors is probably the trickiest thing. Um, let me just make sure I have, yeah, I do. We're gonna um, put the scissors and the paper trimmer together. And I have these little bitty trimmer pieces. Let's see. We're going to put a little glue here. I'm gonna do this first. Insert, let's see, yeah. They're both of these, I think, yeah. And I just have to look at my sample, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, so then we're going to put our little black knob piece right here. Okay, and set that aside to dry. All right, so the scissors. It can get a little confusing. You have two black pieces and then you have two silver pieces. And when we cut them out, we didn't need all the handles. So um, we just are going to trim it somewhere above the angle piece. If you can see what I mean, you'll see when it's together. All right, so a little bit of glue and I'm trying to use very little. And as you know, if you watch my videos, I like to smear the glue on because, and I like to put it on the larger piece rather than the small piece so I can pick this up without getting my fingers full of glue. Then you just glue that on and this is the one with the hole in it. So you do have to cut out two of each and there's our pieces. And I like my scissor, um, the, the hole on the top so basically just add a little bit of glue around the, the hole and put that together, set it aside. Okay, so there's our pieces. Let's get to stamping. So we're going to use the stamps in the set and they are perfect for crafting. One says life is better when you're crafting. The other one I chose is sending you a handmade hug. There's also you inspire me and with love. So I'll use on the front, we're using Smoky Slate ink and this, I'm gonna do this card. So we'll stamp over on the side, getting as straight as we can. And then on this one, we will send a handmade hug. Okay, done with that ink. The other thing I like to do is use some of that extra stamps. So I'm getting back into Berry Burst and because this is sending you a handmade hug, I'm gonna add a little heart there. And that's it for stamping. Okay, now to put this together. So this piece right here is stitched or die cut with the Stitch with Whimsy um, designer or dies. So very um, love the detail that they give. They do not cut. I had one customer call me or text me and say, "Did um, isn't this supposed to cut? And I'm like, no, it just is supposed to stitch the edge. Okay, so... We will glue the white onto the black. And I added black in here because of the scissors and it, it kind of makes it pop. Okay, so we will add a little bit of glue here. And then I want this to be even edges. So I don't care as much about that. In fact, I like to show as much of the gingham paper as I can, but I do want it to be straight. Okay. So this can be popped up. Let's add a couple dimensionals here. So how many of you have this set or you're going to get it? <laughs> now that you see it, it is just a really fun um, set. So 
So I don't want to add much. I'm just a little bit up here if I can smear that around and maybe a little bit over here. Because this is on the top. I don't know how much it's going to grab because there's two layers. Okay, and then all we have to do is finish with gems. And we're using the same um, Tinsel Gems 4-pack. So we'll do a larger one here and two small ones. Um, we'll do it here and here. Okay. Second card done. So which one would you send? Would you make for somebody? Would you send the embroidery card, the sewing, or the paper crafting card? Um, I have friends who do all of this. Of course, when you're a crafter, you, um, yeah, you probably likely will do more than just one craft. So this is the Crafting With You bundle, and it's amazing, and it is available now. So I, I have a feeling it's gonna go in and out of stock um, a lot in the next year that it's in the catalog because it's very cool okay lastly and for my club members this is another club card i've been saving up these uh these buckets of so let me just show you this is what i put all my supplies in is these little baskets and so when i have club uh this is what i do is everything's in the basket like this Okay, so we are going to play with the little monkey bundle. And it's this is a card fold I've done before. So you, uh, if you watch my videos, you will not be surprised. Um, but it's a fun one. And it's, it's called a book binding easel card. And we're using little monkey. And here is the card. So it opens like this but it also opens like that, okay? So yeah, it's a book binding easel card. So the measurements are here. Like I said, I'm using the little monkey and there's quite a bit of stamping on this card. So, um, but what you do, I'm gonna keep my pieces close by here. What you do, you're going to um, score your cardstock this is four and a quarter tall by 11 inches long your first score line is at four and a quarter your next one is in half i'm sorry i'm going to do it this way at five and a half so it does fold in half this one goes back now what you do is you bring your paper trimmer in you because you have to have this four and a quarter inch fold then using the scoring tool not the cutting tool you will score from that four and a quarter inch mark up. And why, um, the only way to remember which way you're scoring, because you could up, you could score this way very easily, but is that you need this easel to lift this way and not the other way. So, so the card stands this way. Okay, so the, you kind of have to think ahead, but basically you put the tip of the card and then the, the, where the fold meets, and then you simply score that back and forth. I've already done it, so I don't need to do that. Okay, so basically this is going to go like this. Okay. All right, so let's stamp. It looks like, um, yeah, that's the one. All right, we are, oh, and didn't you know it? I was going to get these inks out this morning and I forgot. Hold on a second. Well, I don't know where my lemon lime twist is. Oh, yes, I do. I used it earlier. Okay, all right, so weird combo. So the colors here, this is Pebbled Path, our new in color Pebbled Path, and this is gray granite. They are perfect duels. They match each other in hues in, in kind of that gray tone so well. It's really cool. So we're going to take, I put 
all these leaves on one block. And I love this background stamping like this. So you can put these together if you want and do it all at once. I'm just gonna look at my card again, make sure I am doing this correctly. It's been a while since I've made this card and you wanna twist. You want the, um, you have to do the center, but you want to twist your, your um, block oops, so they're not always in a row. So be sure you do that when you're making this card. Then I'm going to take this piece and the branch. Sorry, all my pieces move around so much. Yeah, this monkey is super cute. So we'll stamp that at the top so there's room for the monkey. I have to tell you a funny story in a little bit about this position of this monkey. <laughs> Uh, people are so funny. Okay, just swinging by to say hi. I think that's just perfect for a greeting. All right, now, this is for my monkey. So same ink, pebbled path. And I wanna look how my monkey is positioned. So we're going to stamp that here. And we need another one for the inside. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna take this scrap of gray granite and do it again. I need just need his face, his, um, yeah, his eyes and nose and mouth. Okay, all right. And then on the inside, while I have the pebble path out, get it all done. We have a bananas about you. So we had a little bit, if Lori's still watching, I'm gonna tease Lori a little bit. She couldn't do green bananas. I chose lemon lime twist as my, um, I needed some green, right? Some green leaves. So Lori could not do green bananas. I'm like, well, you buy green bananas. Well, some people do. So I'm like, well, other people didn't have an issue, but Lori did not like it. So <laughs> I have to tease her a little bit. So we're, because it matches, and we're all about matchy matchy in Stampin' Up World. Okay, there's my green bananas. All right, oops, I got a little. I think that's an ear, and I'll explain that in a minute. All right, so first let's punch out our monkeys. Okay, so you can kind of see to position it a little bit, make sure his legs and ears and tail and all that is in the right place. Ooh, I got really down to the bottom on this one, but I think I'm okay. Okay, then you take this piece and you want to punch out his um, accent color face. Okay, so it's such a neat punch. There's all kinds of things. There's a banana. And there's ears, which I'm going to show you now. So I'm going to take this piece and punch out four ears. So it's the opposite side, which is fine. Um, it, they're stamping on the other side, but it does not matter. So I have two monkeys, so I need four ears. And I made a huge mess here, um, but that's okay. So let's see, we need a face and four ears. The rest is all unnecessary. Okay, get rid of all our scraps. And what I like to do, I only have one of these left, is use just one dimensional. Don't need to do two, although the next one I think I have to use a mini because I ran out of my big ones. So we'll use two minis here. Again, remember that if you put your fingernail on your backing of dimensional, they just flip right up. So it kind of lifts up the edge. If you, when you put them on there, you just add um, a little crease and then you can add them. Okay, so for the ears, I don't like to add glue to tiny things. So I usually add my glue where I'm going to drop the tiny thing. Much, 
much friendlier. And then you simply add these, and there is a kind of a straight side to the ears. It doesn't show a whole lot, but, and I'm just using my fingernails, I should use my take your pick tool. And I just got my finger in the glue by flipping it around. And the nice thing about adding glue is you can move it where you want it. So there's our monkeys. Okay, lots of little um, details on this card. Okay, we're going to color the branch with Pebble Path and Lemon Lime Twist um, uh, blends. So just need a little bit of green on the leaf leaves. And you can use a regular marker, but you don't, if you use a Stampin' Write marker, don't go over any of the ink because Stampin' Write markers and our classic ink are both water-based and then they can um, bleed. So because these are alcohol, they do not bleed with classic water-based ink. See how smooth that is? I'm using small strokes, but you don't see them. That's what blends do. They're very, very friendly. And actually, in this case, I kind of want to have some branch marks. So I'm going to go over it just a little bit. All right, put the card together. Okay, oh, we do also that little tip. So this ribbon goes around. That mini glue dot moved a little bit. I'm going to scoot that. It's kind of in the wrong place, probably during storage. Scoot that mini glue dot over a little bit. It's kind of coming out. Okay, so this is a little knot of ribbon on top of a long piece. So what I tell my customers to do, so you can have the smooth side of the knot on the top, is this trick. So you lay your small piece on the bottom, your long piece on top, and you tie a knot. And you can certainly cut them longer. I'm used to short pieces. <laughs> That's kind of a joke with my customers. And then you tie, and I like to tie so the tails purposely go where I want them. I want that at opposite ends. I don't want them to meet this ribbon because I want them to show. So now I can choose good side, bad side. So this is the good side. I'll do a little bit of trimming. Okay, now let's glue our pieces on. So our ribbon's ready, all our pieces are ready. We will add our strip here. Got a little bit too much glue there. These pieces go together. And that will go on this one. And it doesn't matter because it's square. Which way you put this. So you see why I didn't have to stamp the center of this background. All right, so when you're putting that on, you want the this piece to only be on this portion. So I'm gonna add adhesive to just this side. And I wanna lay it down uh, while it's flat so I can make sure the edges are even as I put that on there. Okay, now, let's see a little bit of extra glue there. Two, add the ribbon. We are going to want our ends right about there. So I'm going to add adhesive on the whole thing for now, even though I didn't, should, I wouldn't need to. Oh, dropped a monkey. Okay, find your good side, lay that on there, flip it over, and press the ends onto that adhesive. I use the Seal Plus, that's my preference for a tape runner. Now I have my ribbon on there. I can still kind of move it a little bit and I'm going to press because you need, this is a book binding card, so you need that to stay closed, okay? Oh, oh yeah, okay, I'm fine. I have to pick up my monkey that I dropped. All right, so the inside. Fold that down, 
I don't like to work it too much after I just glue it because you can um, make the adhesive not um, adhere quite as well. This is four inches. You can kind of see my measurements there. So this little guy is what holds the easel up, right? So you need something in here that's popped up. Whether it's you can pop the whole thing up inside, I'm just going to let his, um, his face, basically his face, pop him up. Put him at a little angle so he's jaunty and fun. Okay, so here's the, here's the joke. So one of my club members, when you look at the card, they said, well, I can't position him like that because I don't like where that leaf is on his bottom. So <laughs> I didn't even notice it. That's how, how uh, different everybody is, right? So we, we all see things, details. So what I want to do is not add a dimensional where the other dimensional was. I really don't like to make my cards so thick. So because there's a dimensional under his face, I'm going to add my other dimensionals not where his face is. And I kind of want him upside down because he's swinging on the tree. But I'm going to try not to put those leaves where they don't want it to go. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, the pick, the pick, the take your pick to a would work well. Unfortunately, I'm, in, I'm out of putty, so I have to put more putty in there. But yeah, there is the book binding easel card using the little monkey. So we went through three different um, card folds today. And the winner of today's video for sharing is going to receive the packets. Now you'll get punches, but you won't get anything stamped. I'm not allowed to stamp things. You'll get all the pieces. You can use whatever you want um, to do, but they will get the um, printed project sheets that I give my customer, my club members for all their projects. It has pro, uh, products on the back and directions and measurements on the front. So they'll get three of these and three um, cut out cards, pre-cut cards um, in their kit. So that's what you get for um, sharing. The winner will receive for sharing this video. So like I said, next week I will not be live on July 4th. That would be the next Tuesday. So I'll be back on the 11th, I believe it is. So Tuesday the 11th will be my next Facebook Live video, um, basically a free class for those of you who watch me. Remember, they're all on YouTube as well. So if you um, do not watch me live on Facebook, you can watch me on YouTube. And if you just joined us, these are the other cards that we did today. So we did all three fun folds. These are all Z folds. And this is a book binding easel card. So thanks so much and I will see you in two weeks. So don't forget to share the video and make sure that your, um, your Facebook is, sh is shareable. So you have to make sure that your, because I do check, um, if it doesn't show shared on your Facebook page, you won't be in the drawing. So. So thanks so much, everybody, and share and comment to win a prize for a next time video in two weeks. All right, happy stamping and send some cards. I know you all make cards, but do you send cards? That's the, that's the question. So, all right, thanks so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.